Hello everybody, this is Custard and a Great Missenden here. Um, today I've got an Inkbird to use. Uh, it's a Sick Pro um, Bluetooth thermometer, which I'm going to be cooking some brisket with, which I pre prepared earlier. I'll show you it here in a second. There we go. Ta da! That's just got a load of cumin. Uh, a 50 50 ratio of um, black pepper and sea salt, and also a little bit of onion powder plus some garlic powder. So that's going to be done today, hot and fast, on my um, UDS smoker. I'm going to bang it on and uh, take you through the app once I've got the meat cooking because time's ticking on, and you know me. Hi everyone, back again for Costadella Great Missenden. Um, not so rushed now, the meat's in, um, the thermometer's doing its thing. I'll show you on the app what's happening. So as I said, I'm going to be doing it hot and fast today. So what's going on is... Can you pick that up? Yeah, you can pick that up. The drum's running at 336 Fahrenheit. And... 370 Fahrenheit so I've got two probes in and the same bit of meat it's got two different temperatures on it look one's one bit's 100 well and the other bit's 84 so it must be in a slightly thinner bit on the on the first probe which is quite cool um, a good feature of a multi probe thermometer so um, we'll take it back and I'll show you the graphs in a second you can see the drums running hot and fast just like I said it would be um, here's some features of the app we've got four probes running on it so there's the first two one telling me to wrap the brisket uh, um, that's set for 155 which is just the temperature I go for um, and that's going to be taken up to 198 and starting to, to probe at 198 and see how things go normally it's by feel by then but we'll see how we get along um, I've never done a hot and fast so this will be quite interesting I'm really impressed by how quickly it's coming along obviously because of the heat but um, let's just hope it's nice and tender within the box of this ink, ink bird you get um, obviously the instructions which are here there you go and the um, name of the app which is barbecue go which is a very good app actually um, that's just what I was showing you you can see graphs and stuff I'll show you that in a little while when there's a little bit more to see um, you also get your warranty card which is in the box which is nice this is one of the probes that aren't fitted obviously that goes in the meat or you can use it to go on the grill and there's a grill attachment you just place that through there and that sit on the grill nicely and tell you what your pit temperature is uh, while I'm at it I'll tell you a little bit about this um, this thermometer it's got a Wi-Fi range of, no it's got a Bluetooth wireless range of 50 meters uh, to power it you need two AA battery treble A batteries it has an LED display and you can plug in up to six probes uh, obviously there's an alarm for when you hit temperature or your pit drops below or above the temperature you wish uh, the temperature range is 250 celsius to zero and 482 fahrenheit to 32 degrees fahrenheit as i said it's a really really nice thermometer it's got a lovely feel to it um, I'll show you it over there because it's all rigged up to my smoker at the minute and uh, I'll show you how all that's going and we'll take it right, so here we can see the ink bird working a charm um, set up on the, my little bar I've got there I'm running all the cables into the exhaust or one of them through into the meat kind of okay let's see what the actual thermometers are reading yeah that sort of matches up 
two on there, which is nice. Might be time for a bit of a retouch, I think. It's starting to look a little bit rough. But then again, I suppose it is an ugly drum smoker, so we can get away with that. Yeah, so it's all working a charm. The meat's coming along lovely. It's starting to smell pretty good now. The rubs are working a treat. Right, so it's just hit 155-ish. Um, it's still pretty got a way to go. I'll put some chicken broth in with it. I'm going to wrap it with some foil and then put it back on and see how we get on. Hopefully it'll be all right. We'll see. Again, um, the bris brisket's just hit temperature on one probe. On the other one it's 196, so that's just about there. Um, I've already probed it. It's still got a way to go. I'm going to take it up to 205, I think, just to um, see how it gets on because it's still got a little bit of resistance there, so we need to just cook it down. It's also in there with a bit of broth and wrapped in tin foil, so it's showing 201 there. Uh, that'll sort of bring it down as well. It's been interesting actually doing it hot and fast. I've never done it hot and fast before. Um, it's taken pretty much no time at all, really, for a brisket. What are we in? We're sort of nearly four hours in, and it's... I think we're nearly four hours in. Let's have a look. When did that start running? 12.44. Oh no, that's a reset. So that's two hours. You can see where it's where the lid's been opened and closed and run along on the graph there. Not sure how well that picks it up. I'll show you. There we go. Got a bit of a wiggly line. running at 369 but overall the app is really good for the phone um, gives you a lot of information and feedback see the alarms go off when you want them to or need them to plus you've got the multi -pro probe option as well which is really nice yeah overall I think it's a really nice um, thermometer the range isn't brilliant um, I must admit I've taken my phone out at the front of the house and lost signals had to come back but then for knocking around the garden and like again my, in my kitchen I it's fine so yeah it's a it's a really nice little thermometer um, I recommend it I think it's really nice you can see the brisket's done um, it's really really well cooked nice and tender and juicy just done a broth of um, well, a chicken chicken broth basically and chucked it on, it's got an okay bark, so we're gonna have a nice little bit of heat with the rub I made earlier. I'm gonna rub that up, well, I'm gonna wrap that up and hold that for an hour or two until my boy gets home. Right, hi guys, back again for um, Costello Great Missenden. I'm gonna talk about what I've um, been up to today. First off, I'd like to thank Mark from uh, Bob's Family Butchers uh, supplied me with the piece of brisket I went over to a shop and brought it really nice guy, lovely shop check it out online if you want some brisket it's really really nice excellent bloke check him out also as well um, the people who supplied my thermometer that I was using today from Mink Bird uh, Jojo, thank you very much I hope you like this video and um, if you do, please spread the word um, Pink bird thermometers, they're a winner. So um, yeah, go and purchase some of them. If you want to um, purchase some at the moment, there's an offer on my Facebook group, Ugly Drum Smoker Barbecue UK. Uh, if you can get on that and buy some, wicked. You can get you can get a discount on um, a six and the four probe thermometer. They're very good. Uh, also. Do like and share this video. I spend a bit of time on it. I enjoy doing it. And finally, last but not least, a big shout out to my main man Paul. Thanks for doing the editing, you're a star. Much appreciated mate. Cheers. Alright, so here's the end result. I've just cut some up. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all nice and bendy, so that's got to be a, got to be a good thing. And um, pulls apart, no problemo. Ta da! So I'm going to have a little bit of this. Hmm. Really good. And I'll see you next time at Custard of the Great Mistum.